what we're trying to do is we're trying to determine what is the transformation vector from A to A prime. So simply, all I really want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is just pick two points. And there's a couple ways you guys can do this. These two points are exactly the same, right? Now, we don't have a label for them. So let's give them a label. Let's give them x and then x prime. So there's a couple ways we can do this. One, we can determine what the point is, which this one is 3 comma 1. And then our new point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 6 down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 6 comma negative 5. Was that down to negative 5? Or is the point supposed to go to negative, negative 4? 1, 2, 3, 4. It's supposed to go down to negative 4, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4. My apologies. Supposed to be at negative 4. That was part of the problem. All right. So the couple ways we can do this is, ladies and gentlemen, how do we go from 3 comma 1 to 6 comma negative 4? What is the transformation vector? From 3 to 6, what did we have to do? Add, subtract, what? Add 3. So it's a positive 3, right? And then to go from 1 to negative, negative 4, we had to subtract 5. And there's your transformation vector. The other way you guys can do this is just simply count on your graph. You guys had a graph that you're allowed to use that. Then all you can simply do is say, all right, I have to go um, down 1, or let's do the horizontal first. 1, 2, 3, and then down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? And you do that, you would go over 3, down 5 for each one of these points. So that's what we call the transformation vector. And the form, remember, has these pointed parentheses, and it'd be 3, comma, negative 5. Any questions? Preguntas? OK. So let's go over your. Um, homework quiz from today.